What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As you know, Media Takeout reported a story that was a Hail Mary. And a Hail Mary, if you guys watch sports, it's a pass in which you're trying to score at the end of the game. It usually doesn't work, but it's a shot, right? It's a long shot, but you take the shot anyway. And the shot that Media Takeout was reporting was that, you know what? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are no longer together. Now, investigating this, we have not seen pictures of them together in a while. We have seen separate pictures of them without wearing wedding rings. But then here's the fishy part. Gabrielle Union celebrates the birthday without her husband. Now, I will, I will say that Gabrielle Union looks good at 51. I am not a hater. Okay, she is looking very, very sexy. And again, she posts this. This might sting a bit. This is 51, hashtag birthday behavior. Looking good. I would definitely love to trick off on that. But now, while she's out here hanging out with all these friends who don't care about her as much as the husband is, Notice, noticeably absent from these festivities is Dwayne Wade. And what is Dwayne Wade posting on his Instagram? He says this, singing out of tune, happy birthday. May your journey to peace become shared stories in your next memoir. We love you and we hope that you're having a great day for you at Gab Union. This, 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 this right here, player, this is a bit dry, player. This is a bit dry, okay? This means love you like a friend, okay? Tired of your ass. So glad that you are somewhere else, not by me. I'm so glad that you ain't here with me no more. But I still love you. We got to play like it's cool. We got to play like it's okay. But this is dry. It don't seem like a post that a man who love a woman want to play y'all separated for sure okay he didn't even made a picture of her uh, falling into the, the the damn ice whatever and all it is and here and there and i i i just you know it, it's, it's 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 somewhere the brother feel like you know you know I'm, I'm just really 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 glad you over there and let me let me just tell you this about black men since y'all don't really want to know i'm gonna break it down to you and i've tried to talk to you ladies about this but y'all don't listen so let me, let me let me help you Black men, we will love you forever. And the mistake that y'all make is you don't necessarily feel like somebody gonna leave your ass. Okay, this is what y'all, and I'm trying to teach you as a black man myself, who is middle aged, I'm an OG right now. And um, you think that won't nobody leave your ass. So, you know, when a brother keep talking to you about something, brother keep talking to you about something, you know, you, you feel like that. And I'm gonna tell you what happens when a black man just continues to, dis to, 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 to deal with you, and it's not gonna change. What you do is you make him you make him numb, right? And when you make his feelings numb, he he don't even get mad no more. It's not even anger. It's just you know what? You're not gonna change. And you know I'm really tired of the stuff that you you know me and you've been going through. It's not gonna work. And you know what? I just want to end this amicably. Or we can pretend that you know we together. I know really a lot of couples they marry, they live together, but they're not together in no kind of relationship, but they just, you know, would rather do it like that. And they completely fine with it. Look, I, there's no way I'm touching you at all. It will be Paul Molina and OnlyFans. I don't want nothing to do with you. Don't even think about it. I have a beautiful home here. I will go into another room. I will lay down. Even when I see you, I won't even be mad no more. I can't stand yo ass at all period don't even talk to me and you think it's women that feel like that it is so many black men around the world that feel like that every day and you ladies out there just don't know that but it's a lot of black men out there that have just given up and we are just so happy that you're happy and we're happy that you're getting up on up out of here we so happy that you having friends you might even have somebody else i was i was so uh disgusted with one of the girlfriends i had long-term girlfriend i said let me let me let me let me let me help you out. i don't see how much i love you baby i said i love you you want me to prove it to you she said mm -hmm. how how much do you love me i said i'm gonna tell you if you happen to have another dude in your life i'm gonna tell you 
what I'm going to do. Cause I'm about to put you up out of here. Ain't no doubt about in my mind. Okay. And I feel like you have somebody else, but this is how much of a good sport I am. I'm going to give you about $5,000. Then me and him both, we're going to help you get your shit up out of here and move it to wherever you're going with him. We're going to help you. We're going to give you the remix that you better call Tyrone. Call. It's going to be, you better call Tyrone Nisha. Yeah. Help her or him. Come on. Help you. Yeah, we're going to help you get, get, get you all up out of here. We're going to work as a team, me and him. We're going to be we, we're going to be talking. We're not going to have no problem or being mad. No, no. Because we're all on the same team. Because the team that I need you to be is up out of here. That's what I need you to do. I need you to get the f out of here. I need it. You remember that? I need it in my life. I want it in my life. And I said, listen, when you have a birthday, I will be the first to give you somebody a birthday, send you a card. I can send you some flowers. Look, if you and him get married, I will be there clapping, crying. I really want this for you, baby, but I need you out of my stuff. You know, it's not gonna work. I need you away from me. And it's so to the point, you know how whenever you, you know, you have some animosity towards somebody, but when you just know that they're not gonna be nothing in the first place, then it's gonna be, you know, you're not even mad no more. You happy for them. Cause listen, man, I hope they can put up with your ass, baby. Cause I know I can't put up with you. It ain't no way I'm gonna be able to do it. But God damn it, if he wants to, God bless you, let you do it. Let him do it. If he, if he is silly enough to deal with this shit every day, let him have you. And y'all, y'all don't think that fat meat is greasy. And a lot of these black men out here is going to be more amicable about, it ain't going to be no, you know, yelling and cursing. That's when you broke and you ain't got nothing. But once these black men start making like they're doing, they're going to listen, let, let's just go ahead on, babe, and get you up out of here. Or I'm going to get myself and get up out of there. And it's not even going to be nothing being mad and, and, and oh, being mad, why we gotta know? We don't even be mad at you, boo. I love you. Well, why you wanna leave me? Cause you crazy. Well, why you don't wanna be with me? Because I got sense. No, get 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 your ass up out of here. Come on, let's let's no 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 no. We too old for this. Let let, let we gonna we gonna help you. Jesus said, help those who need to be helped. I'm about to help you get up out of here. Ain't no doubt about it. No doubt. Ain't no doubt about it in my life. I'm gonna help you get up out of here. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Like this, like the old folks say, like this here, okay? And some of y'all need to know when these men is done with y'all, it's not even out no anger because if anybody wanna come and deal with you, baby, let them deal with you, honey. Ain't nobody missing the fact that you, you, you about to leave. Obviously, it's not gonna work out. So we need you to go and somebody to help you wanna drive around and put up with you every day. You know, and this is, this is, this is the thing. No, you know, I got my own little situation that I'm going to be working on. I got some little booties on down the street or whatever it is, you know? And the thing with Dwayne, what he's, he's tired of her. I feel it. And you black men who know this, you ever have somebody you tired of? You just can't wait for them to get somebody else. You know, Jesus, get some, we be happy y'all going. I'm tired of you. I can't wait till you leave. It used to be, you know, I, I used had a situation, brothers. I had a girlfriend, and ever she would go on a weekend trip, I would start shouting like I was at a church of God in Christchurch. You know, I never wanted to come home. I'd be outside talking all night on the phone to somebody. I want to want to go in. I don't want to see her. You know, I don't even want to touch her. Big old booty, too. You just, you know, you go ahead and give it to somebody else, baby. Give it to somebody else. I don't want to touch it, baby. It's good, too, but I just, I'm, not, I'm all right. I'd rather stay over here with this Paul Molina, boo. I love you though, know? you know, and just, you know, you know, get up out of there. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you following you. Just the bell. We're out.